Yo, yo, yo. Another episode. Another episode. Real spicy. Eternal K. Now, today we get into, and it's all about the thirst, man. It's all about the thirst. And I'm trying to tell these gentlemen thirst will get you nowhere. Thirst will get you nowhere. I'm about to get into some clips. Sometimes we get the single clips, but we're going to go through the multiple clips today, man. This first clip right here was with 21 Savage. And uh, you know how these groupies get. You already know they, they ready. They down for whatever. All bets are off. But you know what I'm saying? You just never know what's going on out here, man. A quality gentleman, a quality man is not going for it. But yeah, let's go ahead and get it to this clip. I ain't even going to hold you like that. Perfect. Y'all catch that? Hold on, hold on. Did you peep that? It was so quick, and it was executed with perfection. Look how he did it. <laughs> oh, first of all, man, look. I'm going to pause it right here. What you trying to do? Young lady, what you trying to do now? She thought it was going to be some kind of, like, princess moment. He about to save her. It's you I want. It's you I've been waiting for. What's she, what she doing? It's some kind of fantasy she playing out. She done thought long and hard. Had all these fantasies at her crib. Waiting for this day. Waiting for this opportunity. To try to grab this man in his face. Look how he did it. He, you know, you got to peep how he did it. Not only this, did he do it. He did it so smooth. And I love it like that. Because that's how gentlemen got to do it. Like look, look. And repel. <laughs> like that, boy. Shook off. I don't know why y'all act surprised. I don't know why y'all act surprised, man. I want y'all to know, ladies. You cannot walk up to a quality man and do this type of shit. Repel him like a like a pest. You know what I'm saying? And the bottom line is, keep your hands off me. Unless you mind. Unless I unless I gave you permission. Don't be touching me, especially in my face. Now, if you peep the last, the latter part of this clip, this man shook her off. Like, let me go ahead and shake this broad off. That's how you gotta do it. I don't know why y'all women think all men are thirsty. I'm on an anti-thirst campaign on both sides. Us as gentlemen, we gotta see it as, look, controlling access to us. And I mean, yeah, I understand many men don't get play. You know, but you can change that by not being as thirsty. Knowing your value, knowing who like you, and going after those women only. Women that don't fit that, women don't fit your taste, women that don't fit your criteria. Gracefully repel. Keep moving. See, it's the, it's the thirst that make a lot of women feel like they could just do whatever. They don't have to be held accountable. They could just do whatever the hell they want to do. And I think that's what I mean. It's like, look, I, do what you do. Live how you live. I'm just telling you, the thirst is what's killing it. It's part of what's killing it. Because that's when you get the simps. Just to be in the presence, just to even have a thought, a chance, an inkling of a chance to get with a broad. Now you all the way open, and it's going to cost you. A lot of these women, they realize, oh, well, you're going to have to pay. You know? But it's also the, 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 the whole vibe, the whole uh, sense that this man... It's not thirsty. He he can't. He don't have to go out there and just give it away. You know, you got to do something for him. You can't just, you know, uh, put a cherry in front of this man, sit on his lap, touch his leg, touch his chin. You know, just like probably she's probably trying to do that to him. Touch his chin, touch his face, and what he gonna cough up the bread? He gonna say, "Meet me backstage." <laughs> All right, let's keep rolling. All right, now we are gonna get into this next clip. This is exhibit A of why you should not be thirsty. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to go ahead and roll it, and then we'll talk about it on the other side. Like that. Hey, G. For all the couples out there, say hi to the camera, babe. Hi. If you tired of these thirsty niggas in your old bitch inbox, and want to make some easy money, some easy money. This is all from inbox money. Mm. Let me show you something. You thirsty yourself. You see that? Do you, you see text that? today, same shit. And then like not even an hour later, you cuffed up. Uh. 
So, you know, you got to give them a conversation and shit, you feel me? Then you got to call them. Hey, what you going to do when you talk to them? You going to get that 50, right? Yeah, we're gonna get the $50. Okay. And I'm gonna block his ass. And you yeah. hungry? Oh, yeah, I'm hungry. You, as a matter of fact, I want some motherfucking Chinese food. Me too. <laughs> Give me Bet. some. I want some general toast chicken with shrimp fried rice and a shrimp egg roll with a bottle of water. I'll call this nigga right now. Let me show you something. Damn. Okay. It's thirsty as hell. You see that? He just texts today, same shit. And then, like, not even an hour later, you cooked up. So, you know, you got to give them a conversation and shit, you feel me? Then you got to call them. Babe, what you going to do when you talk to them? You going to get that 50, right? Yeah, we're going to get the $50. Okay. And I'm going to block his ass. And you yeah. hungry? Hell yeah, I'm hungry. What you, <laughs> as a matter of fact, I want some motherfucking Chinese food. Me too. Give me Bet. some. I want some general toast chicken with shrimp fried rice and a shrimp egg roll with a bottle of water. Bro, bro, bro. Thirsty bros. Guys that... Are getting suckered in, man, to these programs, bruh. Programs running daily on 24 7. Calm that down. You can play it out here. And a lot of times, when they say catfish, that's what, that's what it'd be. It'd be a dude behind one of these girls, many of these women out there bringing money home to daddy. You know what I'm saying? And you give me all your hard earned for what? For what, bruh? What you trying to get out of it? There's other ways to get women, bro. If five minutes after you start t typing to a woman, five minutes in, she's talking about, ah, I got bills, I got a bill coming up, or, ah, I'm hungry. But you see she's online all day. You can't be too hungry, right? I mean, yeah, you, you know, no man wants to be with a woman that's saying she's struggling to eat. I, le I know I don't, but I come across that and, you know, where I'm at, I feel like I can't be with nobody struggling like that. You know what I'm saying? You got to catch me when you, you know, get get back up on your feet or something. You know what I mean? I mean, there's people I come across daily, you know, okay, they could use a, a few dollars uh, to, to get a meal. And you could tell. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, you, you break a little off of them. Uh, that's part of charity. That's part of, you know, helping people. Nothing wrong with helping people. But, you know, they just trying to play you and run game on you. Nah. I'm from the city of game runners. It's not hard to understand what's happening. And there's a difference between a woman trying to figure out what you're passionate in, what what makes you tick, what makes you go, what you enjoy in life. You know, I don't have a problem talking about that. You know, you could look and see, okay, I can handle myself. I'm, I ain't struggling for nothing, you know what I'm saying? So that's all that's needed to know, you know what I'm saying? And then through the course of time, yeah, you know, you get to know the person, it gets serious. You're talking about building for the future. Then you could talk about, what assets do you have and kind of run through those type of things but not not off top especially on the internet instagram whatever social media and all of a sudden they're trying to act like they care about you you know and it's, it's just people just running these games and they're gonna do what they do you know it is what it is i definitely feel like it's scumbaggish but at the same time uh i feel like i could control what i could control and we as men gotta look at that and say you know what just like on mario or something you see a pitfall you see, uh, you know, you need to get to the other side. Let me jump right here. Let me avoid this pitfall. Let me avoid this obstacle or run over this obstacle. What I got to do. The key is identifying obstacles. But this right here is how you get played. Okay, let's go to this next clip, man. Keep it rolling. You like my voice? Yeah, it's cool. Huh? It's cool. It turn you on? I'm sorry? It turn you on? No, no. Well, what about no? <laughs> oh, 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 wow. Did y'all peep that, man? You like my voice? Yeah, it's cool. Huh? It's cool. It turn you on? I'm sorry? It turn you on? What kind of question is that? No, no, no. <laughs> well, what about no? <laughs> she, shim, him, did it for the, for the, for the gram. But man, if she would have kept going and just, you know, you could tell, oh boy, was he was already going for it. And I'm saying some of some of these, they look, you know, I guess from a certain angle, they might be able to fool you. But nah, man, you you see that Adam's apple. You see certain different things. And you're like, nah, if I got any question at all, I go with my gut. If I got any question at all, I'm going to keep them moving. You know what I'm saying? There's too many out here, you know. The voice, the, the, the shoulders, the head size, the hand size, the foot size. 
fellas. That's what I mean about that thirst, man. That thirst will kill you. And we're going to get into that, too. Up in Vegas, man, there's a lot of Vegas stuff going on where a man just trying to have a good time. He go up to his room with two or three girls. And you know what I'm saying? He go from anywhere from a robbery to a eh, you're up out of here. And all because you're thirsty, bro. You're going to sleep while you're with these chicks. Ah, nah. But that's a whole different conversation. We're going to get into that a little later on. I got some clips that we got going on with that. But, man, I tell you, <laughs> she was playing with him. She was saying this because probably a lot of men like this come up to her. Him, Shim, how you want to say it. We're going to cover it all. <laughs> Uh, not only do they get you, but do they end up blackmailing you, extorting you, you know what I'm saying, ruining your reputation, uh, your business, and, and, and public, uh, and your personal brand reputation. Throw it out the window because of thirst, bro. I'm just saying, you know, at the end of the day, we can move different as well. You know, take accountability and move different. But man. And we're going to go ahead and get up out of here. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Bang on that like button. It's another one. For real, man. I appreciate you guys' support. And like that, we out.